Today is both of our candidates for the U.S. Senate visited Lubbock. Beto O'Rourke stopped by on Monday and Senator Ted Cruz campaigned in Lubbock today. And it just tells you that both think every vote is needed before Election Day. KMAX Page Peroso has been following both campaigns for us. Yeah, both those campaigns making their final stops across the state, trying to win over those still undecided voters as Election Day is just a few days away. <laughs> Lubbock crowds amped up for Beto O'Rourke and Ted Cruz. Both candidates making their last stops in Lubbock this week before the polls close. I'm just so grateful to be a part of it and would love to come back as your senator to have an office here in this community and make sure every single day for the next six years we serve the people of Lubbock. There is a common sense conservative value throughout West Texas that is the key to keeping Texas strong and free. For everyone in West Texas to come out and keep Texas bright red. Each rally was packed with supporters. If you really care about protecting what the Constitution says, if you really care about what Christian values should be, this guy's the guy. He wants to protect our borders. He wants to protect Texas and preserve Texas for what it is today. All hoping their candidate wins next week. We need to make America into the image that we are. And, you know, we have a really bad image now in many ways, and um, it's, it's so important that we support him. With less than a week away from Election Day, polls are showing close numbers for both the candidates, which might be the reason both are fighting for votes across West Texas. This election is about a fundamental choice for the direction of our country. It's about jobs, and it's about freedom. If you want to see high taxes, high regulations, jobs disappearing, and open borders, then you should vote for Beto. But that's not what the people of Texas want. That at this moment where the country is so divided, so polarized, so partisan, that we are going to be the answer to that. We're going to come together regardless of political party or geography or any other small difference that could otherwise divide us, come together and lead this country on the big, important matters before us. Early voting ends on Friday. And of course, Election Day is next Tuesday. We're going to have those Senate results along with all of our local race results right here on KMAC News.